How's it guys? Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having a lucky day. So for the people that are seeing in the background, we are currently at the festival of uh, motoring. It is so much good. Check this out. We've got where are they? <laughs> we've got cherry down there. Uh, all the different other manufacturers. It is so much fun checking out everything. And then you guys can come and actually test drive the vehicles. I've taken the T8 on a nice uh, course. Just learning how it goes. How's it guys? Welcome to the channel. Yeah? If you guys are having a lucky day, as you can see, I've got my cherry hat and then I'm wearing a cherry shirt. I don't know if you can really see it. <laughs> but that is courtesy of um, Cherry themselves. Okay, the shirt I got from Cherry Midrand. But yeah, I'm at the Festival of Motoring. You guys can hear the cars going past now. So yeah, it's been awesome so far. Um, got my wife's little nephew. We are checking out all the different manufacturers. So we've got Cherry, there's Amoda, there's Jaku, uh, there's Haval, there's Opel, there's Suzuki, there is GWM. Um, there's Suzuki as well. And then if I swap this around, there's actually a driving center. So you can actually test the vehicle itself through a little track. It's not very long. It's about a two Ks or maybe a K long. And then you can just come and register and check out all the different stuff. So it's cool. There's obviously, for the guys that know, this is Emilio from Centurion. Yeah. How's it? Good luck to yourself. Like it, David. Yeah, you guys haven't seen him for a very long time on the channel. Yeah. But yes, from Centurion. Uh, Cherry, come check it out. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers, man. Have a good day. So yeah, everyone knows as well. Um, here's some of the people that we're dealing with. So you can see there's more. And then we've got other gentlemen here as well. <laughs> So come say how is it? How are you guys? So introduce yourself. I'm Mani from Terry South Africa. I'm part of the after sales team and we are enjoying this fun weekend here at FOM. So <laughs> please, it's the last day, pull through and enjoy the weekend with us. Come do the self-drive. We've got main pits, we've got upper pits. We have plenty of vehicles. So yes, please come through. Yeah, and it's been so fun. Uh, I've even taken the T8 Max on a drive. Uh, to show people how it works, it is awesome and it's so much fun. It is I'm excellent. I'm having some fun. <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's Thanks, it. man. So, cheers. Enjoy his hand, <laughs> So, yeah, so there's a lot of people, there's a lot of stuff trying to find all the different people that I uh, deal with, obviously, on a daily basis. Something uh, that's a guy starting a Harley Davidson down there. We've got more people here, so see if you guys rec recognize the people. Okay, see we here. We've got Selena. So, yeah, we're at the FOM. So, come and join us. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said to them, the shirt I got from Midrand. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. I got this from JP. Nice. <laughs> what? I got it from JP at Midrand. Yeah, I said to JP, I want one. He's like, okay, cool. He organized one for me. <laughs> Just so yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. Um, we're now going to take a trip down to. The other side, we will see you guys just now. Cheers, bye. So how's it guys? So check it in. We've got the Lamborghini Rewelta in the background. It's one of the cars that they've got on display. Obviously no one can touch it. It's on a um, revolving pedestal. I mean, that is a six and a half liter V12, uh, naturally aspirated with an electric motor attached to it. It's over a thousand horsepower and this thing is quick. You must actually go check out some videos on uh, YouTube uh, on car dot, uh, car wow, uh, dot UK. They actually do some uh, drag racing in these cars. They are super quick. Um, and what's nice about it is that because of being electric, you can actually drive it in a hybrid mode as well. But then you can use the full performance as well. So it is awesome. Okay, so we're going to be moving it along with some of the other vehicles as well. So see, I'm currently here above the track. We can see some of the like the Beijing. Then we got the Porsches down there. We got more Porsches here. Uh, what is that? That's an Opel down there. There are guys going past on the track. The Marshalls. And you can see some of the cars coming down there. And then we're going to move across. So we've got Porsche here as well. We've got the KN. We've got the Porsche setup here. We've got Porsche there. We've got the Cayenne GTS. We've got the McCann. All the way up to the Cayman. 
So you've got the Taycan as well. So yeah, there are serious amount of cars, serious amount of people. Come check it out. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we still got plenty more to go and do. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone, there's so much people running here, so we're running into each other. Um, like for the guys that like the Porsches, here's the Porsche GT4 RS. That's an awesome car. Oh, yeah, and then we've got the Porsche Spider, which is quite beautiful. Now, I've never been too sure, but check this out. I mean, you've got the roll cage. Do you really want a roll cage in a car that you're going to use every day? For that price, I'm sorry. I think the price was, well, that's the price here. Uh, so this is the GT4 RS. The price is... That's a little much for a car. Um, I doubt you're going to be using it for your uh, daily driver. Um, track car, by all means. So yeah, we're going to be moving to the rest of the guys and we're going to check out the other cars. Okay guys, cheers, bye. So how's it? So we are back in one of the other um, divisions or one of the other exhibits if we call it. Uh, I still want to run over people. So we've got some nice looking cars here. <laughs> check this out. Uh, we've got <laughs> so, so check the nice V8 supercharged there. We got the little Porsche over here. Oh, Nissan GTR. So I'm sorry, a lot of people love the Mustang, but then you've got the Nissan GTR. Put in the comments, GTR or uh, Mustang. Which one do you guys prefer? For a daily driver, I think I would take the GTR. Uh, track car, I think the Mustang. Reason being, the Mustang you can get that S lacquer loose. The GTR, I think that would be perfect on a day-to-day -day driver because that's what it's designed for. Day-to-day -day driver with a crap load of power. Cool, now another thing that they've got here as well, for the guys that are interested in their cars, they've got FIA simulators. That. Let's see if we can find a spot in here. Everyone going in there. <laughs> I'll go past here. Check. So check it. We can see. <laughs> okay, now obviously there's a lot of the guys that like doing the F1 uh, simulators. And I mean, this is quite cool for if you really want to check it out and test it out and see how it is in your real life. I mean, it's quite cool. <laughs> so yeah, so the guys are running their stuff, looking at all the different stuff. It is um, quite a lot of fun. There's a lot of simulators from where it being formula one to like looks like nascar over there um yeah there is just so much i'm overwhelmed if i can put it that way there's so much stuff oh we got playstation up ahead but it's normally for other games um ooh. i gotta go check that out so check this out this is one of my favorite cars a nice p1 this thing is beautiful. McLaren P1. It's a three and a half, uh, 3.8 liter V8 twin turbo with an electric, like it's fully hybrid. This thing is a monster of a car. And check this out. Full carbon fiber body. Monocoque, this thing I would love to take it out, but this thing I've been told is scary, scary, scary to drive. <laughs> no, he's just checking out all the different people. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, is that an old skyline? Yes, yes. So I need to get past these people here. Check this out. So for the boys that love these Nissans, was it an R32 skyline? Oh, nice. Oh, what do you think of this? 
So this is the R32, this came before the red one that's parked around the corner. Okay, so let me put it to you this way. This is the same one that uh, Paul Walker drove in Too Fast, Too Furious. The, um, well, Fast and the Furious. The one that is grey with the blue light. What do you think of it? <laughs> so now you see one in real life. <laughs> yeah, he's a um, Fast and the Furious fan and he loves it. So now taking him into the, his car shows, he's just enjoying it so much. And then we've got the new baby. I mean new, but I mean it is quite a few years old. Such an awesome beast. 3.6 V6 twin turbo, four wheel drive. Zero to 100 is like three seconds. And then we've got an old original Skyline. Beauty. It's in a Japanese import. Yes. These are awesome cars. These are magnificent. But yeah, let's see what else there is. So we'll uh, I'll just catch up to you guys just now. So how's it guys? So we're currently sitting in the uh, part of a, I don't know, cafe or whatever. They've got some Lambos there in the background, uh, some race cars. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> that is literally where the people are sitting right there. That sounds so good. Now, another thing I want to show you guys quickly, and for the people that love the old classics, check out these. These are two beautiful, mint condition, restored cars. So we're going to start on, actually, let me get around this side. Check this baby out. And then we've got a very, very iconic car. That just sounds so good. We've got a very iconic car that majority of you should know. That is loud. Okay, so the next car I want to show you guys, check this out. So a lot of you car, guys will know this car. That is loud. So a lot of you guys will know this car from Gone Into... Okay, so now here's an interesting fact that a lot of you guys didn't know. The GT500 was never ever a production car in the 60s. It was the 350 Fastback. When they made the movie, they decided to make a GT500 this style. And then uh, people enjoy, liked it so much that they actually made, they started making these. So you cannot buy an original GT500 that looks like this from Ford from the 60s. You can, however, buy from the 2000s a replica that looks like this. So you'll never be able to find a original GT500 that looks like this. The 500 was different. It looked like a different vehicle. This is a nice Fastback and it is a beautiful car. I'd love them to start this one up. But yeah, check this out. I'll get to you guys soon. So now we're actually going to go here on the edge of the track. There are guys coming around in cars and on bikes and just fiddling around and coming through. Oh, is anyone actually coming?
focus already is nice. What else have we got coming here? One? <laughs> yeah, and earlier we had the, all the different bikes coming down. So how's it guys? So we're back outside. So this is one of my favorite cars. It's always I've always loved it. See what you guys think. Tell me which color you think looks the best. We got a nice blue. We got a shocking, shocking pink. I actually like it. It's a bit unusual. Then we got the classic blue with the white stripes. Beautiful green with what a paint job. Or is this a sticker? No, it's a sticker. And then a Shelby. <laughs> This is so nice. And then obviously you've got the roof there with the nice interior. Okay, it's got the, <laughs> obviously the new stuff. Obviously this take you're taking on the track. It's actually quite a tough one. These are I'm not a pink fan, but I think that pink Shelby looks quite cool. It's an unusual colour. The blue is always a classic. You gotta check this out, check this out. It's the interior. Check the skull. <laughs> and then obviously if they were going on track they need a fire extinguisher with a harness. Oh yeah, this one is just an automatic. Yeah, automatic. But check the pink. Shocking pink, black accent with the black skulls. With a nice pink skull there. <laughs> And we've got another auto. So add in the comments, which one do you think is the best? Which one, if I decide to, you could take, which one would you take? I like the 302, which is the blue one over there. I like the originality. The pink is cool. This one is cool, but it's an automatic. Yeah. <laughs> the green is quite cool. I just don't like the green uh, vases, and then we've got the roadster at the end. So for originality, it would be the blue one. It just looks period correct, if I can put it that way. Okay, next section. Okay, so guys, we're busy here at the track. Here's some of the cars you're going to check coming past. They sound amazing. Check this out. Come a couple of more.
it is awesome. I haven't got a little link to be a good mouse. Dudes, this is awesome. This is what I love. Please, if I get the Formula One cars here, yeah, this will be awesome. The spectators, the people love it. Even my Arsenal nephew, he's loving this. How's the car sound? <laughs> you can talk. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, now the cars are going on a, another lap here, yeah, they're coming through now. On the run down to the end. section <laughs> just guys so how's it guys so some more cars that they've got they've got some competitions at the back there where they've got skies throwing the exhaust so everyone wants cancer you can go stand there and listen to the cars but for the guys that are true metal heads and uh, metal heads car heads if i can put it that or as you guys know it is gear heads a lot of you guys should know this car So yeah, a lot of you guys know this car. Plus, there's another little one down the road, yeah? So, we can have a look. So they've got a lot of the ones for the old classic racings. So they've got that one there. And they've got this little baby here. So a lot of you guys should know this one. So what can I say? Some legendary cars here. So yeah, what can I say? There are some amazing cars here. There is a lot going on. If you guys haven't made it, try and make it here next year. It's well worth it. Um, I've got to thank Cherry, obviously here. <laughs> Been driving all over the place, checking out all the stuff. We spend most of the day there. Do yourself a favor, get the weekend ticket. Um, we've been here since eight o'clock, we're exhausted. We still haven't even done everything here, so we're going to be going on to the next sections here. They've got whole different manufacturers. There's Japan Auto, there's what? SRT, ooh, ready to race. Oh, it's RTR, ready to race. So for those guys that know their cars, RTR is off. Uh, you know, they're busy having the uh, sound off on the exhausts. It's a Golf and a BMW, as usual, the two normal ones. But let's quickly have a look here. I'm here with a section that is under Shelby. So I wonder if it's got any of the Shelby cars. Um, oh, there it is, there it is. So for the guys that know their Mustangs, here is a little car that you want to check out. So it is a, an amazing little car. So check this out. And in the background, let me quickly slow this around here. So check this out in the background. Some amazing stuff for you guys to come check out. Yeah, you can check the cars out, come do the vids. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably end it off now. Um, it's going on for close to three o'clock. It has been a awesome hot day. Thanks, guys. Uh, please like, enjoy, uh, subscribe for some more videos. And for the new people, congratulations! Uh, uh, congratulations. <laughs> 
thanks for joining me and hope to see you guys uh, more and for the people that did see me and I chatted to you uh, awesome have a lucky day and that's all I can say from here at uh, Festival of Motors here in South Africa in Johannesburg here at Kailami oh one last thing please guys get F1 here <laughs> Alright okay, guys, one more thing before I go, check the colour of this car. Now tell me that does not look good. Okay guys, cheers, bye.